Hey guys, Cody and Clance from Bar 7 Ranch here today. And today we are doing what? Picking out? Indoor goats. We're picking out show goats for Clancy's fair project this coming year. So we're getting out some, we're picking up some Angor goats. So come along and we're going to show you what we got going on today. Okay, so we've already sorted out a handful of goats here. They're hot. It's, we are in Rock Springs, Texas. It's probably, what do you think, what temperature do you think it is? Probably 101 or two right now. Um, out here in Angora Goat Country, and we've got some, the Plumleys here, Bailey, Melody, and Carter. This is Tucker. <laughs> and Tucker back here. Tucker's the boyfriend, I believe. I'm not real sure, but he's hanging around like he is anyway. So, um, but we've got some goats here pinned up that we're going to sort through to get a few more out of, and we got some already sorted off over here. So, we're going to go over and kind of talk you through what we're looking for in these goats. So, come along with us and let's get you educated. Okay, so we're here with Bailey Plumley. Bailey, how long have you been showing Angora goats? I've been showing Angoras for probably about six years. Okay, so six years. So why did you choose Angoras over all the other livestock that you can show on 4-H and FFA? Well, I started off with rabbits, and so that was kind of a small project to kind of get me started. Like, hey, like I'm really enjoying this. And so we actually inherited some goats from my great aunt. And so they were commercial goats. And so uh, we started trying to figure out how, how do we raise these goats, because we got kind of stuck with them. And so we started talking to some people that we know, and then uh, we, we found out that there was a sale close to us. And we just wanted to look at them, but we ended up coming home four goats awesome. so they're slightly addicting <laughs> but um, that's how I got started into them and we're here now so awesome so if you're not familiar with what the difference is between commercial and registered commercial just means you can't necessarily track their lineage back through their parents or grandparents but registered stock you know exactly all the way back through the registry through the breed registry you can see okay this was this goat's mother and father their their grandparents their great-grandparents and you can keep tracking it all the way back so um the benefit to not all there's there's nothing that says that a commercial goat can't be as as good or better than a registered you just can't track who it came from mm -hmm. down the line so yeah the registered they have uh tattoos actually in their ear and then they also have ear notches that you can tell their number from like what side and how many so we'll show you guys that here in a minute so bailey what what do you call the hair on a goat, on, a, on an Angora goat? Well, the fiber is called mohair, and it's actually known as the diamond fiber because it's really, really strong. Um, so mohair is used in um, jackets, sports jackets, blankets, coats. Um, it's even found in airplane seats because it's flame resistant. Um, it's used in a lot of things. Socks, you know, anything that's made out of mohair, if you have any kind of product that's made out of mohair, it came off of an Angora goat. So so now to the good part. So these goats are all getting pretty hot. It's out here, so we want to kind of get get, them, get us one picked out. We Like we said, we've already got a handful of goats that we're going to take home with us in there. The last thing we have to do is pick out one more little nanny kid. So we've got about, about five or six of them here, five of them here sorted off earlier today. <laughs> um, so what is it we're looking for? When you're looking, if, if somebody is wanting to purchase an Angora goat, what would, what do they need to look for? What are the characteristics they need to look for in, in, in picking a show goat? Well, whenever you're talking about a show goat, you want something uh, that sticks out in the show ring. It's going to be real big bodied, nice structure, something that compared to in a big class, you're going to be like, that's a good goat. So uh, you're going to look at the structure, how big the goat is, and then also as well as the fineness. So the fineness is also known as like the crimp. Uh, there's different grades that can tell you uh, kind of the quality of the hair. So you're looking for something that has high quality, that's finer. And finer just means that um, it has a tighter curl. So you want something that's really, really curly compared to something that is straight and flat. So we're gonna get in here. Clance is gonna jump in here with Bailey and uh, we're gonna see if we can grab a couple of them and kind of show you what we're talking about, what Bailey's talking about as far as their hair quality. Um, also, you're looking for maybe some staple length, how long their, their locks are in their hair. Um, 
just things like that. Okay, Bailey, so one of the questions I know everybody's gonna ask is, are there different grades of hair, different qualities of hair, and if so, what are they? So the grades actually go off of the fiber diameter, and so the finer the diameter, like the better it is. So the best would be a super kid, and then kid, yearling, fine adult, and then adult. And then lastly on the grading chart there is Kempe. And Kempe is very undesirable because uh, it has thick hairs that are actually hollow in the middle. And so those individual hairs will not take a dye. Therefore, whenever you use it um, in different products, that hair will stick out because it's not taking the dye and you just don't want that in any of your products. Awesome. So can a, uh, so does that change as they age? Can an adult still be classified as kid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, some goats will hold their finest better into later years. Um, so I would say like if you if you get an older goat that's really, really fine, uh, you would definitely want to keep that in your herd because it's able to hold that finest longer. Awesome. So so what Bailey's explaining to us guys is that the, the fineness of their hair or the grade of their hair does, but it really doesn't have anything to do with their age. It's more the quality of their hair, not, not necessarily the age of the goat. So you mm -hmm. can still have a goat that's three or four years old and be classified as kid or um, depending on the quality of their hair. So that's awesome. Okay, Clarence, so grab us. So let's first, let's walk them. I'm gonna, let's see if we can let them walk by. We've got a couple of little billy kids in here. So kind of a, not really, I guess not an easy way, but you can kind of tell when you, let them stand right there. When you look at their horns, this one here on the left right here, you see how wide his horns are, how thick they are? That's pretty indicative that he's going to be a billy. And when you look at the one next to him, they're a little bit thinner at their base. That's probably going to be a little nanny kid, but we want to be sure and check them for sure before we, before we grab them and haul them off. Um, if you're not familiar with how to sex livestock, it's the old two-finger method. If you get behind them and you run both in and the bottom one bends, it's a boy. If they both go in, it's a girl. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But that's that's just kind of the... You like that? <laughs> that's the layman's terms on how to, how to sex them. But no, uh, really you can just get back there behind them and reach down between the back legs on most any piece, any livestock. And if they've got cojones, then that's a boy. So there's no, no chance they don't know what they are out here. So... All right, so let's take a look at some nannies and see if we can pick the best ones. And, and let's look at some hair. So grab us one right here. Grab us this front one right here, bub. So when you're handling angoras, you want to grab them under their chin by their hair. You never want to grab them by their horns because you can break their horns off when they're little like this. So Bailey, let's, let's talk about this one. This is a little, little nanny. So this you can see this, she was born probably around February, March maybe. Yeah, I think she's a February kid. So, she, so you can tell here that she's got a lot of hair already. She, she's going to get shorn in the, this week right now, probably tomorrow when we get her home. But So what we're talking about when we talk about the fineness of her hair, we're talking about the... Mm -hmm. Won't you show them? I'm going to let you take over. You're the expert. Yeah. You can look all the way down to the skin, and you're wanting to see the individual lock. Like, see right there? You're wanting to see how small it is all the way from the skin to, to the end is okay. what you're looking at. And you want something that's real soft and real little little curls. Little tiny curls mm -hmm. right here. So, for lack of a better term, the nappier their hair is, <laughs> the better? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you want something in, in your blankets and jackets. You want something oh, that's know. soft. You don't want something that's going to be itchy. And, you know, you don't want to wear something like right. that. So. Okay, so that's a, that's a really good little nanny kid right there, in, in my opinion. What do you think? I think she's just going to be pretty nice. I think you got some nice ones in there too, so. Okay. And then uh, we got, I think there's just one more little nanny in here, right in the corner right there. Mm -hmm. I think the rest are little billy kids. So let's bring her out, bub. Come on, Lamar. <laughs> They're giving him a little trouble, but. They're kind of wild. Yeah. <laughs> But by the time by the time we get to the show, though, they'll be gentle down because Clance will do some handling on them. So, <laughs> no. you got her. No. Okay. 
so that's not hurting her guys she just this you know hadn't been handled much they're just wild out here so this this little goat may be a little hair younger than another one you mm -hmm, think probably she's not quite as big and just the length is not as long the length is not here. quite as long on hers either so if we were going to choose one of these two little nanny kids we would want to go with the with this other one over here that's back here this one right here because she has a longer longer hair her hair's longer it's a little tighter in her crimp and uh just overall she's a little bit bigger goat so she's that's probably as she grows is going to continue to to pass along or continue to develop so she's going to be a better goat um one thing we didn't look at let's grab that little nanny right there closest to you we're going to show you guys the the marking system inside their ears the tattoos so that you can identify them and also i'm going to have bailey explain to you what the ear notches are so that that we can see that so you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this side, see it has 341. So that's her like identification number. So um, I'm a breeder and so I raised this one and so our numbers are so 341. And then that is BJP. So that's my that's my breeder identification so that you know that it was is bred so, by So me. this one has a BP3. So that stands for Bailey Plumley, and she was born in 2023 so anytime you look at this goat you can know who the breeder is and the year the goat was born and then this is this is your breeder number the 341 uh, yeah so each each goat will go up a number okay so that's what number goat it is all right so what about the the marking system on their ears tell us about how that works i might need help with them because it's confusing <laughs> it is confusing um the right ear is going to so be... the right ear of the goat Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is going to be threes. On the end is your 300. Down here. The front of the ear is a 30. And then if where there was a notch on the back side of that ear, it would be a one. A three. I'm sorry, a three. Okay. So 300 on the end. So this is 330. 30. And then on the other side, that's uh, tens or one, ten, and a hundred. Okay. So. One is on the back side, tens on the front, and the hundreds on the end. Mm -hmm. uh, Correct. No. One's on the back. One's on the back. Ten One's on the front. Tens in the front. Tens in the front, yeah. and the hundreds on the, on the end. Back, yeah. Correct. So here, this would be. So you got, you got three hundred and thirty on this ear. And Eleven plus ten. Plus ten plus one is. Three forty one. Three forty one. So that's the marking system on the goat's ear itself. Awesome. All right, guys. So we're gonna get. We're gonna pick this little nanny right here. We're gonna get her loaded up in the truck with the rest of them. And then we're gonna go get something to eat for lunch because it's about two o'clock nearly and it's <laughs> getting hot and we're all ready to eat too. So thank y'all for coming along. When we get home, we're gonna get them unloaded. We'll probably show y'all some of that and we'll go from there. I'm sure Erica's gonna edit some of this out, so. All right guys, so another cool thing about Rock Spring, Texas is this right here. It is home of the American Angora Goat Breeders Association. So any Angora goat in the United States that needs to get registered, their paperwork comes through the office here in Rock Springs. So while we're down here, the lady that runs the office happened to be here, so we're gonna go ahead and get the papers transferred into Clancy's name while we're here. Okay guys, the boys made it home with the goats, but they're grumpy. We weren't till we got home. Cause somebody got a speeding ticket. That ain't why we're grumpy. We're Get the grumpy. goats out. What are you waiting on? You need to quit talking about this. Don't. Don't worry. Does this does this girl have a name? This is Venus. Venus. Like Venus Williams. Nala says I'm gonna say hello to the new. She's a fatty. No, She's fatty fatty. Oh, she's so cute. You are so cute. I got to get on the other side. I can't see good. She is so cute. Man, Dad, your pickup man is going to be pretty dirty. Yeah, you're going to have something to do tomorrow. Wash it off. I already got stuff to do tomorrow. Don't let him go. Oh, they're so oh, cute. Oh, don't jump on my butt. <laughs> they are so cute. Oh, please. That one got pooped on. Oh, that one is nasty back there. This one's the one we got. What do you mean? This one's the one we got. Well, I understand. I'm just saying it's nasty. 
Obviously, y'all got all of them. That one's mine. So I'm saying. I think that's what he was trying to say. Oh, okay. That's going to be his. Okay. So tell me about the goats. I need to know. So we've got. So this one is Rhett's? No. Oh, okay. This is going to be Clancy's two tooth and older. Oh, I thought we had. Oh, because we didn't have it. Okay, I we got it. We have you. a two tooth and older, but okay. we don't like her, so we bought her. Another okay. Another. All right. So give me the tour. Okay. So I don't know what kind of tour you want, but. I don't know which ones are ours. That's what I so want. So the big one is ours. Big one is Venus, and she's ours. Venus okay. Be Adult. Adult. Okay. Then the uh, one with the bigger horns at the back. Yeah. That just come out by Venus. Yeah. This is going to be his Billy. Okay. His two tooth and younger Billy. Got it. And then he'll show the Billy that he won with last year. That he got in the old with last year. In the older, older age, group. age group. All right. And which one's his younger and then his nanny? Younger nanny is the dirty one that just jumped through the fence. Uh, is it? I think. That's what he told me a while ago. Thirteen. I don't know which. We have to. I think it's. We'll have to figure it out. Okay. Let's see, I can tell you right here. That one is the one we don't. This one is just the one, right? That's Annie or something, right? Do they all have names already? Well, that one of one of the little ones does. How come? Because it was the baby to a different one that got had a name already. Why does uh, the why does Venus look like she's in such good shape? Well, they've, they've got all theirs on creek feeders right now, so they're, oh. they're eating all the time. So. She looks way better than ours. <laughs> I'll stay right here so she don't come out. No, why would... What? You want her out. Oh, I thought you were going to capture her in there. It'd be a lot easier than coming over here. I thought you were going to see if... I don't think he was trying to... Oh, I thought you were trying to see if that was her. No, I think he was just trying to put her over there with that. With that sure. Hand. She better get clean. Yeah, that didn't, we're gonna oh. share them so no matter. Oh yeah. Okay, so. All right, so let's close this video what out. So. Did you tell them we're gonna share them already? I, I don't know if I told them or not. So. Okay, guys. So we got home. Uh, had a little mishap on the way home. We got pulled over for speeding. I was trying to do these animals a service by getting them out of the hot Texas heat. Did you get them. tell him that? No, he saw them back there and he was like, let me get you out of here quickly. But he didn't have any uh, no sympathy, no sympathy on the speeding. So, But we got everybody home. They left hot. me at home for 12 hours by myself. For real, y'all left at 8 o'clock this enough. morning and got home at 8.30 this, tonight. Wasn't long enough. But uh, <laughs> so, so we got them home. They're hot. They're tired. We're gonna let them. We're just gonna leave them here and let them relax. We might throw a block or two of hay in here for them. Let them find the water trough and just let them lay down and relax. And they only get hay because they're getting shorn tomorrow. Right. And then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna got to get everything shorn, get them slicked off for validation, and then we'll get them going for for the county fair. So we leave the next morning for we leave Thursday morning for Georgia. And validation is while we're gone, so we've got to get it all done before then. We always like to wait till the last minute. Yep. That's kind of our style. All right, well, everybody's tired, so. Me and Dad decided what we're going to do in Georgia. I already know. We're going we're to doing. the beach and going skimboarding. Oh, no, well, that's we fine, but. I did not decide I that. I found us a. Something fun to do? What? Yeah. Okay. What is it? Well, we're excited to find out what well, that is. Off, and I hope so you are too. Stay tuned. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Y'all keep ranting. Turn it off so I can know what it is. 